Hey everyone, it's Stefano here, and today I'm talking about one of my new favorite photography apps for the iPad, Cast Cable. A few months ago, I made a video telling you guys how the iPad Air 4 changed my editing workflow. You can watch it here if you haven't already, but after finding this app, the iPad has not only changed my editing workflow, but I feel like has changed my entire photography workflow. By this, I mean being able to tether, save, and write to multiple SD cards and drives at once, along with creating automations to make my camera do anything I want with one push of a button. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about Cast Cable and all of its cool features. A couple weeks ago, I had a fashion shoot at the studio and the one thing I forgot to bring with me was my laptop. The shoot went amazing, but I wanted my laptop with me so I could tether my camera and show the client the photos in real time as I was shooting. As soon as I got home from that shoot, I thought to myself, I wonder if I can tether my camera to my iPad. After all, the iPad is much easier to bring with me and it would just make more sense. I know most camera manufacturers have their own app allowing you to connect your camera over Wi-Fi, but I've always had problems connecting to the Canon one and you can only connect your camera over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, making it not the most stable connection. After doing some research, I came across the app called Cast Cable. Cast Cable allows you to tether your camera directly to your iPad so you and your clients can see the photos while you're shooting and so you don't have to show your client the photos on the small screen on the back of your camera. Although this is one of my favorite features of this app, tethering isn't the only thing you can do. Like the camera manufacturer's apps, it also acts like a remote for your camera and if I'm being honest, comparing it to the Canon Camera Connect app, Cast Cable wins hands down. I can only speak on the Canon app because I haven't used any other ones, but I would spend over 10 minutes trying to connect the app to my EOS R, and once it connected, the app would be so laggy to the point where it would become useless. With Cast Cable, I don't have any of these problems. So yeah, you can use it as a remote for your camera, allowing you to change your camera settings and capture photos directly from the app. When you're tethered, you have the option to change storage locations. So if you wanna save directly to your iPad or your iCloud storage instead of your SD card, you can. You can even hook up an SSD like this Samsung T5 and save directly to the SSD. Like saving as different storage devices, you can also use Cast Cable and your iPad as kind of like a hub to copy and transfer photos between storage devices. But another one of my favorite features you can do with Cast Cable, and this is really cool, is the ability to write to multiple SD cards or drives at the same time. And they do this with something called Storage Link. Let me show you exactly how this works. Basically, you go into the section of the app where you choose which storage device you want to save to. You click this button at the bottom here and you get this little window where you can select which drives you wanna copy and save to. So this is how I would use it. I would select my SD card as the storage we want to copy from and then select my other drive as well. This will transfer all the photos that are taken and save to the SD card when tethered and copy them to the other drives. Now, if we check these other drives, you can see that the photos were saved to storage devices. How about we talk about recipes? Recipes is where you can create a camera automation to basically make your life easier. One of the common use cases for recipes is exposure bracketing. You can literally create these recipes to make your camera do whatever you want automatically. But let me give you an example. If you're a real estate photographer, you've probably been taking three exposures of every room, combining them in Photoshop so you can properly expose your shot. Doing it this way means you have to change your settings by one stop for every shot. What you can do is set up a recipe to take three different exposures with one click of a button. When you go into the recipes editor, select the place for the recipe to be saved to, so you can use it for every house you shoot. From here, we can drag a few automations from the block picker to our recipe. For something like this, we would drag three take shot blocks and two change exposure settings blocks. Now, if you don't add some weight blocks, your camera will take the second and third shot faster than it can adjust the exposure. So we'll also add four weight fixed duration blocks. Now let's just set them up in the proper order. After we have that, click on the first and third weight block and set them to one second. Then for the second and fourth, we will set it to two seconds. Next, click on change exposure settings block and you can select which setting you want to adjust and how many stops you want it to be adjusted by. For one of them, we will overexpose by one stop. And for the other, we will underexpose by two stops. After you have that set up, click close, head to the remote tab, click on the three dots and select shutter robot. Click on module and select recipes. Then under recipes, you wanna find your recipe file. Then click engage. Make sure you adjust your settings to properly expose the first shot, set up manual focus or however you wanna focus and then run the automation. As you can see, it took three different exposures at different settings. Now all you have to do is move your camera to a different room, adjust your exposure for the first shot and run the automation. 
Again, I used exposure bracketing as an example, but you can really use recipes to make your camera do anything. With Cast Cable, you also have other features like geotagging that tracks your location so you know exactly where you took those photos. I believe this feature only works if you're connected to Wi-Fi or LTE, but I'm not 100% sure. Built into the app, they have two different calculators. A neutral density calculator to help you get the correct shutter speed when using an ND filter, and they also have a sharp stars calculator that calculates the longest shutter speed you can use at night before the stars start to get blurry because of the Earth's rotation. This will definitely become handy if you're doing anything like astrophotography. Now there are multiple ways you can connect your camera to the Cast Cable app. The way I would suggest is via USB, but you can also connect over Wi-Fi. I prefer USB because it's going to be the most stable connection. Trust me, the last thing you want to be doing at a professional shoot is fiddling around with your iPad, wondering why your camera keeps disconnecting. The type of cable you'll need will depend on what kind of camera you have and what model iPad you're using. For me, I have the EOS R and the iPad Air 4. Both are compatible with USB-C, so that's all I need. However, I wanted the ability to charge my iPad at the same time if needed, so I decided to go with a 10-foot USB-C to USB-C 3.0 cable. I have the USB-C 3.0 end connected to the USB-C hub, and that's what's connected to my iPad. Having a USB-C hub means I can still charge my iPad while having the camera connected, and you still have a couple ports available if you wanted to hook up that SSD. Also, make sure you get a long enough cable so you can freely walk around if you're working in a studio environment. Cast Cable is compatible with a ton of different cameras, so whatever camera you have, you should be able to use this. I'll put a list of compatible cameras on the screen, but basically all Canon EOS and PowerShot cameras, Sony Alpha and RX models, Nikon DSLR and mirrorless cameras, Fuji, Panasonic, basically every big camera manufacturer brand, all these are models compatible over Wi-Fi. Connecting over USB, however, you can almost use any camera as long as your camera is Tether compatible. Cast Cable is free to download, but if you want to Tether and use some of these other features like Storage Link, you need to purchase a subscription or buy it outright because the only thing you can do with the free version is control your camera settings and shutter. Subscriptions start at $5 a month or $35 for the entire year, but if you're like me and you hate subscriptions, you can get Cast Cable Pro for $85. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you think about this app down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, make sure you hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video. Peace. Thank you.